Hi everybody, welcome to PUBG. Uh, this is PUBG on the PTS, the PC PUBG. Pub, let's try saying that with your teeth in. The PUBG PTS. Um, this is the new Vikendi. So, yes, the new Vikendi. Um, I'm playing this on my old laptop through GeForce Now. There we go, somebody's already got the amazing uh, dinosaur skin there for their character. So, you know, the graphical quality, although I'm playing this on Ultra, on uh, through GeForce Now on my very old laptop because it actually has to stream from a NVIDIA computer to my laptop. Um, it means that often the, the quality will uh, will dip a bit and you'll see things like screen tearing and uh, it won't look as good as when you're actually playing it on your high-end gaming PCs. The other thing to remember is uh, I'm a console PUBG player, not... <laughs> <laughs> not a PC mouse and keyboard, so I'm actually playing this on my Xbox One controller on, uh, plugged in via USB to my laptop, so uh, the chances of me winning any gunfights are very, very, very low uh, indeed, but maybe we'll get to have a, a little bit look around. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. So, as you can see, we've now got the new... If I can, how do I zoom in? I've got to remember it right there. So that's... Whoa. Whoa. That's a big zoom, isn't it? So that's the new Dino Land there, replacing Dino Park. And the Abbey has moved up here on the mountain rather than down here. There's various other changes as well. Big one, you see there's a lot more dirt rather than snow, which, um, yeah. I mean, if you if you listen to my video on the uh, patch notes for this update, you'll know kind of how I... Whoa, right, okay, let's remember these controls. Oh, there we go. You'll know that. I've, I've got kind of mixed feelings about PUBG now. I still think it's, you know, the greatest game ever made at its height. Um, but whether it's still the greatest game to play now, when you've got the likes of Warzone, um, who have, have taken a lot of the concepts of PUBG and, uh, you know, just made them more fun. Um, and But it, it's more than that. You know, f for me, PUBG would still be top of the pile as kind of the, the military sim um, battle Royale. I know it isn't really though when you compare it to likes of armor and things like that, but there's been so many dodgy decisions that PUBG Corp have made about this game that have have spoiled it. You know, we've had the the crap maps. Like, I mean, all due respects if you enjoy them, but like Karakin, the fact that they pulled Vikendi out when I didn't think it really needed pulling. Um, they keep releasing the game, and this goes for PC as well, not just on, on console with with bugs in it. You know where it seems to. Uh, right, let's go down fairly quickly. You know, it seems to be like one step forward, two step backs all the time. It seems we've got like a worse game now than we had when, um, than when you know, even when we were playing it on Xbox in the game preview program. You know, when it used to crash and all the time like that. But at least back then, we just had like Erin Girl to play on, um, and then we had Miramar. Um, and one of my theories is what they should do, I think what they should do, is just go back to Erangel. If they've got a problem with queues being too short, too long, sorry, for, for players, you know, you've got to wait around. Because, you know, 100 people in a lobby, that's a lot of people you've got to gather together. Um, you know, let's, let's just go back to Erangel. You know, get Erangel running super, super smooth. Maybe, maybe two maps. Maybe you have, like, Erangel and Vikendi, Erangel and Miramar. But you get to choose, you know, it, it, there's, there's a queue for one, one or the other. You know, when you want to go to the other map... You just go in and you just go in and play it now. Here we go. This is where you'll see how dreadfully <laughs> slow. All oh, right, there we go. Another. See, that's another dodgy change. If you ask me, the fact that the M two four nine LMG, the saw, is now a. Uh, why did I aim down sight then? Why did I not aim down sight? Okay. I guess my setting is probably not on setting B, so I should have tapped rather than... Uh... So there we go, there's our fir <laughs> first experience. Let's uh, let's get back to the lobby and go in again. Start. I don't think I want to look at the master report for that one. Um, yeah, go, just go back to Erin Girl. Just go back to Erin Girl. Because yeah, we love Erin Girl. We played Erin Girl, didn't we, for... for a, was it a year before, probably 18 months before we had um, Miramar? And then we had Sanhok. Excuse me while I just take a quick sup of my coffee. Also, when it comes to the quality of the video, you'll probably notice that the... Oh, here we are, Cosmodrone. Let's have a look around here. 
the, the quality of the video um, is also dependent on the fact that I'm capturing this on my old, old laptop using an old LG P Lite USB capture um, USB device, which can only capture minimal uh, resolution as well. I think it's 720p it captures it at. Um, so this always looked good, didn't it? What you'll find is I'll do a lot more videos when uh, this comes out on the PTS for console and obviously the full release for console. Uh, but again, that's another reason, is it? You know, it's like, come on, don't alienate the console players by making us feel like the, you know, the, the poor members of the family. Rather, we get everything, you know, weeks if not months, months behind the uh, the PC players. You know, let's get delay it for PC. You know, work on the PC version even longer. Um, to get it really sparkling, you know, while you you know put the console versions through through testing for for PlayStation, through Sony, and and through Microsoft, that looks good, doesn't it? The problem is, I haven't played PUBG for so long, or the Vikendi map for so long. I can't. That is different now, isn't it? I think. Um. And I think what Warzone has taught us, you know, with all the lovely quality of life changes that Warzone has, you know, not having to pick up ammo, just having to run it over it, basically not really having a uh, an inventory system. You know, guns are guns. What they come with is what they come with. You know, all that sort of stuff. Um, not dying when you jump out of vehicles. <laughs> being okay. So some of them are a bit silly. I'd agree that re being able to redeploy your parachute after you cut it. Yeah, that that's. That's silly, um, um, but so so much you know the f the fast lobbies, um, the amazing graphics. Even though it's you know a big map, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, this is about PUBG. This is about the new Vikendi. Um, right, ninety six players to so the game. Here we go. So the game's going to stop. But it's even now. See, so I, I can't help it. So we've got a hundred people. Why does it? Why do we then have to wait a minute to get started? Why doesn't it just start now? The map's loaded in. You know, we're all loaded in. It should be bang, start the game, plane, you're in the plane, go, go, go. All this kind of waiting around. It really does make you wonder who's in charge at PUBG Corp now. And why don't they just why don't they make these decisions? I mean Brendan Green, the original player on Luna, came up with the you know, the concept and the original mod for I think it was H1Z1, wasn't it? Um He's long gone. He still works with them, but he's working on other projects. But, you know, I think he would be very, very disappointed with some of the skins that they've they're put in, like the dinosaur skins. They've gone very PUBG mobile you know, instead of more of the kind of military sim side of it. If you're wondering about the GeForce Now concept, it's free to try. Um, it enables you to play, and this is very, very important. It enables you to play your Steam games that you own in your Steam library, or quite a few of them anyway. On your old laptop or PC. See, I don't like this either. The fact that you can see—is that the blue? Is it already? You'll see when we get when we get down. The fact that um, right. Okay, so we're going to go somewhere over here. Hopefully, we can get down. Can I remember how to mark a place here without getting killed this time? Spend a little bit of time on the ground. We're probably not we're not going to get to look around Dino Land or anything like that. I wouldn't have thought. There's going to be too many people down there, and I just can't compete playing with a controller through a streaming service. You see, my ping, because my ping is horrendous. My ping is 111 milliseconds. Now, that isn't the fault of GeForce Now. That's because the um, the test server is probably on an American server, a North, North American server. Um, quite a lot of the time, actually, when I play GeForce Now, and we give, we're in European servers, I get a really low, I get like a 10 millisecond ping really good because I think the uh, Nvidia servers are probably in Germany that, that have got the uh, that I'm playing on um, and the PUBG servers are probably all in Central Europe as well so you end up with a really good ping right so here we go again let's have a look around so there's the new Abbey below us so we're gonna fly over the top of that a lot more yeah there's definitely been a a spring thaw to the map, hasn't there? It's a shame, really. It really is a shame. I mean, the, the problem with Vikendi when it released wasn't... I don't think it was the design... I know some people moaned about the design of the map and they didn't like the way the circle moved, but it was really the bugginess on console. That's what people didn't like. 
for many, many weeks and months, it was unplayable for lots of people because if you were in a vehicle and driving around, you used to fall through the map and die. It was awful. I, however, was always playing on an SSD on my Xbox and my PlayStation, so I never really had those problems. So I loved it, and I loved the slower circle as well. Um, and I think that's probably reflected in the fact that, like in Warzone, the Call of Duty Battle Royale, that has a slow circle. You can't outrun the first one if you're on the on the fast-moving side of the circle, but you can definitely outrun um, all the other circles. Now, the circle will kill you if you get caught in the gas in Warzone, unlike in PUBG where you can survive for several minutes. Um, but you can stay ahead of it on foot, um, which I think, uh, it, which is what you could do in Vikendi as well, which enabled you to to get into gunfights with people with, with the right there's the train blowers as well um. <laughs> you think if you're trying to make I mean it's fun it's good you know but you, if there's something that's going to cause lag and problems it's going to be adding a moving element isn't it to the game. I wonder if we can land them should we ever go That's pretty cool. Well, there we go. A bit of a James Bond experience. Where this is going? We'll stop soon. We'll get off. Oh, we got the loot on it. should probably get off while we can. Oh, right, so it goes back the other way. Interesting. Right, where are we then? Okay, so there's some buildings over here. Gosh, having to open doors. How barbaric. We got a backpack, have we? We got a backpack. We are another train. Right, starting to get used to the controls again. Now this is my second attempt at making this video. The first one I died to the blue. Is that thing doing? Yeah, I mean I I'm not gonna knock the fact they've added trains, but I would have added the motor gliders, wouldn't you? That's what I would have added to the game. And by the way, they've taken out um, Let's drop these They've taken out the um, smoke um, uh, snow bike and the snowmobile. Alright, let's see if we can work out where we should go. So we should go in this way. Okay. I feel like a honestly I feel like a noob. Oh there's a motorbike there. Okay, so let's have another look at this map. So if I remember rightly, so Pushkova is probably a good place to think about looting. Okay, let's head over there. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. woo. 
flying through GeForce now. Oh, we're at this. <laughs> it's another train. Yes. See, the problem with the trains, though, is they're very noisy. And noise is an incredibly important thing in PUBG. You know, listening out to... Just coasting. Can I remember how to get off? See, I'm so slow. I've got no ch chance in a gunfight. So, so far, I've got to say, it doesn't actually look that different, does it? <laughs> oh, right, so we could equip the M249. This is another dodgy thing. So the M249, um, one of the... There's only two LMGs in the game, isn't there? This and the DP-28. Um, they've taken it out of supply drops. And they've added it to just just normal spawn on the ground, um, and they've nerfed it so it's not as powerful as it used to be. So very very. All right, I tell you what. Was, yeah. So, so why did I have a problem aiming down sights last time? We'll take some nine mil and a seven six just in case. Can't remember if we've got a level. I haven't got auto equip on, have I? Oh, okay, so we can put a quick draw. So how many bullets? Oh, right, okay, so you can put an extended mag on the M249. Very strange. Now, I'm also not using headphones for this. So I haven't got... If somebody's creeping up on me, I will not have a clue... All right. Okay. So this is the new. Oh no, that's an M. Twenty-four. Okay. I don't think we need that many bandages, do you? Or a pan. <laughs> Another M249. So that's probably a nicer sight for the M249, isn't it? Yeah, it feels a bit better. Got to move forward a little bit. It still feels good to be back in PUBG, though. I'm not gonna lie, it feels good. You know, got a lot of time involved in this game. We'll pick up the nine just in case we come across a BSS or something. Supply drop coming in. Tell you what, that probably M16 is probably a better bet, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with a 16, I think. Yeah, that way. Big fan of the M16 single fire. Okay, our first first aid. Is that some sort of lightweight grip? And did you drink? I've still got 
40 seconds. Yeah, the textures on these buildings don't seem to have changed very much, do they? Alright, there we go. So we've got a site for the oh, site for the 16. Single fire, there we go. Ooh, put a gunfire somewhere. Again, I haven't got headphones on, so I haven't got a clue. Is that another three times? Yeah, you know, give us four times, give us six times. They give us the crappy three times. Coast, don't we? But you see how you can see the circle? You, you never used to be able to see the circle like that, did you? I mean, aesthetically, that's really odd. It's like something, I don't know whether you ever used any of the, the programs you could get online, the, the browser based ones where you could bring up your stats from a game and you could watch the circle coming in and you know how well excuse me how would you done and stuff like that um, and they would have circles like that on the on the representation of the map okay what have we got let's drop that let's drop that right we've got enough energy drinks What is just going to happen? All of a sudden, I'm I'm just going to die because <laughs> I don't know. I I won't be able to hear anybody creeping up on me. My only hope actually is to get my back to the sea and then crawl along. It. Oh right, what we got here? Eight times scope. Ah, oh, see, oh, that's a bug. We can't put the eight times on the. I can't carry that. What should we put down? Oh, we've got a load of seven six, which we don't need. Let's carry that. Let's p let's just pick up a thirty seven six. That way, if we come across that Mozan Nagan, we can have a go with it, can't we? Although it's apparently just a reskinned car ninety eight, so we shouldn't get too excited. Vehicle looks the same. You can see hardly any snow. I mean, the, the um, southern part of the island was always bereft of snow anyway, wasn't it? That was one of the beauties of Vikendi. The fact that you had, you know, the snowy north and then you had the, like, the thaw in the south, you know, south of the castle, like the river thaw, didn't it? Also, while you're watching this video, it could be that the audio has started to go out of sync as well. That happens when I'm doing these longer videos using my old capture card. Oh, 
Why can't I? Oh, I've already got a pan. I don't need another one. us up a camper's position and let's see what this oh there's only 17 people left alive excuse me while I have a, a quick coffee yum yum right so initial thoughts let's put mark down in the center of the circle as, as I want to do um, I'm glad that Vikendi's back. Um, it looks pretty similar <laughs> to how it used to do. Um, I wish they hadn't taken out the snowmobile, snowmobile and the snow bike because you know, they gave it character. The trains are going to be fun but frustrating. I can imagine you're about to, you know, you're tracking someone down or you're involved in a gunfight and then all of a sudden a train turns up and you can't hear what's going on. Um, I don't like the fact that they've taken away the snow. Because um, that was part of the, you know, Miramar Desert, Sanhok Jungle, Erangel, you know, open grassland and woods, and uh, Vikendi, snow, you know, and Karakin, lump of rock. Um. But there we go, it's good to have it back, it's good to have it back. If we get to play it though, in the patch notes they're saying how it all depends on how many, how the queues are going to be, whether it will just be in a big random pile, or whether it will be a featured map, um, that sort of stuff. Hopefully they'll have it as a featured map. Um, on PC it will depend on the region, well I think on console it will depend on the region you're in as well. I did used to like this in uh, PUBG though, the hanging around. I did, I did enjoy this. It made me feel very tactical. You know, I know lots of people would, would like to run off and, and you know start doing other things, as you would in Warzone now, because you have contracts um, to do to go and kill other players or capture places or find loot boxes, all this, this sort of stuff that you can do mid-game, get money, respawn your teammates, all that sort of stuff. But PUBG, you no, know, nice and simple. Yeah, you can probably, I don't know whether you can see this on the right hand side of the screen, there's a little um, red and, oh I've got a spotty connection, uh oh, so that means, you know, my chances of uh, loads of lag, yeah I'm getting loads of lag now, <laughs> which means that when I input something into my controller, it gets delayed, and so it's very very difficult to be accurate, again this is because my old laptop is terrible, um, for some reason, it doesn't like hanging on to an internet connection over LAN. It just it just doesn't like doing it, and it and it drops the the internet connection. So the only way I can have a consistent internet connection is via um, is via wireless. But obviously, the wireless we get you know, don't get as good bandwidth. We get more uh, our latency is, is higher. You know, we have a, a longer ping. There's only eight people left alive, though, so we've got a top ten finish without actually ever seeing anybody, which uh, is very commendable for a console player on a North American server. I think probably with a ping of 106 milliseconds, because this was my classic play style, you know, on PUBG and in Warzone. You know, get to the quiet edge of the circle and just you know, get looted up and just wait for the circle, wait for everybody else to kill each other, and then kind of uh, then move in. So, I 
If there's only eight people left, they are going to be spread all around here. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's in one of these buildings next to me, actually. I'd never hear them. My laptop speakers are very quiet. Again, apologies for the audio quality and the lack of audio sync throughout this, but again, it's just a, just the taste of Vikendi. Just to encourage you to, if you're on PC, you know, download the PTS. Get in there. It's free if you've got PUBG. Give it a go. See what you think. And I don't know. I mean, how, do they listen? Do PUBG Corp listen to the likes of Wacky Jackie and, and that lot? Hmm. I don't know. Seven left alive. Again, I also apologize for the fact that we haven't ooh, really had a look at the new areas, but what the hell? So I want to be going here. Okay, so we're going to go. How do I get down? Yeah, I think when I died in that previous game, it was because of uh, ping. It was because of lag. The, the game didn't register and what I was doing. So this is going to be over pretty quick, I think, in a minute. I'm just going to get blatted. Marker in the middle. So have I any drinks? Let's see if we can get to a top five without actually seeing anybody. Yep. Ooh, wrong button. I wish I <laughs> if I ever I could tell which direction those bullets. That noise is. Ooh, right, okay. New circle. How long have we got? Fifty seconds. I think it's coming from over there. Are we in the top five? Look at that. Top five. We haven't even seen another player yet. There's those houses. I'm sure, I saw someone over there. He's going to be hiding now, though. Top three situation. There's going to be a guy over there. I saw him. There's going to be a guy over here. <laughs> That's up such low resolution. I can't see anything. Oh. oh. Where are we taking fire from? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> There we go. Oh, we came second. Excellent. 
Brilliant. So there we go. PUBG PTS on PC, the newbie candy. Try it out now, see what you think. Um, that was definitely a bit of a crap experience for me. Um, and uh, maybe you'll have a better time. Maybe this could be the resurgence of PUBG. Who's to who's to know? We should give it a go, though, can't we? Because we put so much time into this game. We've had so much fun. The history we've made. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. Want to see more of the same? Press like, or is it the other way around? Um, put your questions in the comments down below, and I will see you again soon.